Hey guys, welcome to another video. Okay, in this video, we are going to start setting up our front end, which means our next JavaScript code. It is basically not front end, next JavaScript can be used as a back end also, so we'll just call it as a framework. Okay, let's go to the client section, and here we need to go to play section. Play section here we have underscore app and the index file. So, the first thing we are going to do is just basically go to a website with the name of tail blocks. Yep, we're gonna do a little bit of copy pasting. Cause this thing is really not about the front end. Yep, we're gonna exactly wanna copy this thing. Let's go to HTML to JSX transform the tools and it will come out of our HTML into JSX format which is used in the no, next year stuff like that alright what we want to do is we want that thing to be our home page but we don't want to put the code directly inside of an index or JavaScript file what we want to do when I say name of file home to JSX um, you can see I'm just I just named it capital H I just named it H is capital because I don't want it to be included in the route split I'm gonna say RFC react functional component here we can just paste our code and we need to remove a few things we'll remove two of the cards because we need only one all right and uh, our website is going to be kind of like a orange theme instead of indigo blue theme instead of kind of like a purplish theme let's say amber which means orange stuff like that okay we got a dumb image we don't need the category I'll basically show you how it looks like for now. I will split the uh, terminal on the city client on the right side. So basically, like I was telling you before, we can have both of the folders access. You can say yarn dev, and we don't need uh, one of the terminal though. City client. Well, I did that thing using uh, what we say. Control plus shift plus back ticks. I open the this terminal. I'm gonna say control plus this. L down YouTube. I, I didn't import it though. I need to go to index here. I need to say home. Uh, hit enter slash close it right there. Do a refresh. There we go. This is our thing that we got. Okay, now we need to make few changes to it, and we will do the change now. Okay, let's get started with the chains. This is going to be our title, our video title. Our title, and this is going this is going to contain a few things. It's not going to contain the description. We don't want to show the description here. So basically, this is going it is going to contain the logo of that user and the name of the user. We're going to make it flex, display flex. We want to say image source is going to be something. All this is going to be something, and uh, we want a uh, div or span doesn't really matter. Name of owner, okay. We're gonna have a class name for this with the name of profile logo, okay. Video profile, we go into the global CSS. We need to add few things here video profile this image is going to be of width for uh, let's say 40 pixel height is going to be of 40 pixel object fit is going to be contained and uh, border radius is going to be 20 pixels which means it should be totally circular form okay so we need anything else nope we just need a little bit distance from this thing to another one from uh, between the name of owner and this uh, image, we're gonna say margin right, kind of like a three should do it. Now, okay, there we go. We need to say random image on the internet. Let's get this Mr. Elephant. Copy image link. We'll just close it. We'll go back, and here we're gonna paste in the source folder in the source section. Okay. 
and instead of saying contain we can say cover good now we get to see our logo right there and this is the name of owner we want it to be centered on the y-axis so what we can do we can just go back here name of owner is going to have a class name of margin on the y-axis is going to be auto so basically it's going to get centered right there that's how we want it alrighty that's pretty looking pretty good as a starter we want our video to be a little bit more smaller we can say which will be 1 by 4 instead okay it became a little bit more smaller and that's how we like it now below you can see learn more option we wanna just say nah we're okay we don't want you but we want something as a span it is going to contain nine days ago something like that okay so it looks fine our video is set up but things are set up now we need to have a little bit more effects on it okay here we'll just say if someone hovers over it we're gonna make it a little bit more bigger like by 5 pixels something like that and what we want to do we want another effect to be applied on it we want it to have a little bit shadow so we're gonna say shadow MD that one should do it probably okay let's see okay yeah this one actually works so share MD on the another day works pretty fine and that's what I like to hear we are giving padding a 4 and that's pretty okay oh we are giving margin of 4 Okay, no worries. We are good to go with this thing. Yep, home is set it up. Now we need the header bar and the navigation and the nav bar. That's what we are going to do in the next video for another day. But yeah, that was it for this video. In the next video, we're going to set up our nav bar and the our footer bar and I will see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Access this playlist, subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video, share this video, and keep drilling.